It's been a busy 24 hours around the NHL. Let's throw two minutes and 30 seconds up on the clock and talk about yesterday's blockbuster. One that, at least from my perspective, kind of came out of nowhere because we had just started talking about the possibility of the Washington Capitals selling off. And here they go, trading off one of, or if not their biggest, trade chip in Dmitry Orlov. Garnet Hathaway's in the deal as well. They are now both Boston Bruins. Craig Smith goes to Washington to make the money work. And... The Bruins give up a first, a second, a third, and a fifth round pick to who else but Bill Guerin in the Minnesota Wild to keep a chunk of Orlov's salary. Frank, your thoughts on this deal from a Capitals perspective, a team that in the middle of a six-game losing streak appears to just kind of be thrown in the towel. Yeah, and I think it makes sense when you consider where the Caps are in the standings, 12th in the East in points percentage at the time that they pulled the trigger. And also, more importantly, just what's staring them in the face. It's not so much the teams that they'd have to jump over. It's what the issues that they have on their own team. One, it's the John Carlson injury that sticks out in a big way. He may be back this season. He may not. And so without your true number one defenseman, it's going to be really hard to make up some of that ground. Alex Ovechkin is just coming back from the death of his father. If he has a bit of a slow start, plus the other injuries that they've had this season, TJ Oshie, Nicholas Backstrom coming back, not looking like himself. Evgeny Kuznetsov having a down season. Tom Wilson coming off of ACL. Anthony Mantha struggling. All those things, you add it up and you say, this just isn't our year. And for a team that's already in transition, a team that has eight, pending free agents on their back end alone, they had to make a call and say, hey, we are going to push you know, forward and try and get in and keep these pieces, or we can keep an eye towards the future and see if we could still potentially hang in the race even after trading some of these players. It's going to be a lot more difficult to do, but trading Dmitry Orlov as that number one uh, you know, chip that they had that you referenced, they get back a pretty nice return that could help them down the line. And Brian McClellan always sort of has the long view in mind as well. 